Welcome to another tech video. So today we're going to be doing uh, an upgrade on a Lenovo laptop. So um, this is uh, a really underpowered machine. So it's only got four gig of memory in it. It's got a hard disk as opposed to an SSD drive. So um, we are going to be changing those out. So doing an upgrade on the system so that we can install Windows 10 for our client. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that we've done is to remove the battery. Once that's done, put that to one side. We're then going to remove all of the screws. And as you can see here, there's a screw underneath this foot here. So we need to remove the plastic tab. This one's already missing. So we need to remove the plastic tab and we're gonna make sure that we um, stick that back on uh, once we finish with it the next thing you want to do is to remove all of the screws all of the way around so once we've done that um, we can have a look at the next part of the work so some, most of these screws are already loose there are no screws under these uh, rubber feet on the front so you don't need to worry about removing those pads and sticking them back on afterwards So the screws along the back here are a lot shorter, so we're going to put those in a different section so that we've got them separated, so that we get all the right screws back in the right holes once we've finished. There we go. Right, so the next thing is we'll turn it over and get the other screw out that is still stuck in there so this one here there we go right so the next thing is we need to remove the top panel so to do that we're gonna have a look and see where the best place is to get in and see it seems to be around the back so let's have a look around the back to see if we can get in. Okay, so let's see if we can rise away the corner. Okay, so we can. So what we can do is we can get a tab in there. We're just gonna go around and gently prise it open releasing the clips all the way around let's just move that back see a bit easier and down the side Again. I'm just going to turn this around so we can get some leverage under there. Ah, we've got one screw that I've missed. In fact, I've got two screws that I've missed. And there we go. So now down this side, that should just lift up. It does, and the whole lot lifts away. Okay. So that's the back panel removed and let's have a look inside. So I've got some concern over the amount of memory in this device. So let's bring this down and have a look to see how much memory we've got in it. So we want a minimum of eight gig. This has got four gig in it, which is why it's slow. So let's see if we've got some additional memory that we can put in. Okay, so the memory that we've got here is DDR3 2800. And I just so happen to have an eight gig stick of DDR3. So we're gonna get that in 
as part of an upgrade for this. So we're going to take the 4 gig out and we're going to add the 8 gig in, which we've just done. So that will mean that it can actually run Windows a lot easier than it can do at the moment. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to replace the 500 gig hard drive with a 500 gig SSD. So we're going to remove these screw holders like that. And we're going to remove the hard disk and we're going to replace it with a WD Blue 500 gig SSD. And the reason that we're going like for like is because um, the client is actually using most of the uh, most of the drive, so it's, we can't put a 256 gig one in there and save them a bit of money. So they're going to have to have a 500 gig drive installed. Okay, so we want to. We want to now take the hard disk out, replace it into the same cage, making sure it goes in the same way. Okay, so I'm going to remove the hard drive. The new one can go in, same way. Yep. Okay, so then that can go back in the laptop. That, making sure that the ribbon cable is still in there, which it is. Okay, now we're going to replace the cover, but we're not going to put the screws in just yet. We're just going to get the build done as is. Okay, so we are now going to connect our power. And then we're going to load a fresh copy of Windows 10. And then once we've done that, we can have a look and check the performance out. So if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.